Assalamu alaikum dear students, I am Dr. Muhammad Mazharul Islam, Associate Professor of Community Medicine, Boshundhara Addin Medical College. Today my discussion topic is census and it is a part of demography lecture. Let us discuss about census. We shall understand, we shall try to understand the definition of census or what is census, how to conduct a census or methodology and types of census and we shall discuss some important uh, findings of our recent Bangladesh census. So, let us start first of all let us see what is census. S census is also known as population census. So, population census is the total process of collecting, compiling, evaluating, analyzing, publishing and disseminating demographic, social, economic data of all persons of a country or a defined territory at a specified time. So, this is the definition of census. We see here census is a process, process that includes all the people of a country or territory and we shall collect data regarding demographic, social and economic status of each and every person and we shall collect the data and compile it, evaluate it and analyze it and make report on it and we shall disseminate to the people or to the proper authority. So, this whole process is known as census or population census. This census is very important in, in respect of the uh, people who are involved in country like the people who are involved in the managerial type of jobs and national level managers like the population management or whole government is uh, in, in need of the, the data because population census is the primary source of information on population size and its characteristics we collect data regarding all types of uh, demographic information from the people and this information is necessary for the government and this this census is the is the most important source of data because without census we cannot get this type of data there is no system by which we can collect this type of huge data Second one, the data collected through population census serves as a benchmark for all types of socio-economic development, planning and evaluation and provide basis for all administrative activities, demographic research and various projections of population characteristics. So, these are the importance of census. Now, let us discuss about the characteristics of census. One, cover the entire area or population. A census will cover the whole population. All the people of a country will be included. <clears throat> there is no, there is no uh, like sampling. There is no sampling. Everyone will be included. Number two, accuracy and reliability of information. We shall have to ensure that the data collected is accurate and reliable. Number three, time oriented activity we have uh, placed some time interval after which we collect the data and we collect the data on a specified date. So, this is time oriented. Essential features of census, number one individual enumeration, we have to collect information from every person, individual information will be collected. Number two universality within a defined territory within a defined territory or within a country the data collection procedure is universal and all are included. Number three simultaneity at a single date or time each and every persons will be counted and information will be collected. It will be simultaneous at a time all persons will be included in the data collection procedure. And number four is defined periodicity usually we conduct a census after 
10 years. So, this is defined periodicity. Now, let us discuss about the methodology of census, how we conduct a census. There are at least two types of methods. Number one is enumeration method or canvasser method. In this process, there is a data collection form or module. The data collectors will go to the home of each and every person of a country and the data collector will ask question to the persons of that household and he or she will record the data on his paper or module. This is enumeration method or canvasser method, which is usually followed in our country. Another method is questionnaire method or householder method. In this method, the data form is distributed to the person of each and every household. One data form is for one household and the members of the household or the chief person of the household will fill up the data form and he or she will hand over this form after filling up to the persons involved in data collection procedure. So, this method is questionnaire method that is filled by the household members. So, this is uh, about the methodology and now let us see what are the types of census. There are three types. Number one de facto. De facto type is persons are counted or information is collected from the persons wherever is present. Like in a specific date and specific time, each and every persons will remain stand still in a house or in a building or somewhere else and data collectors will go and collect data from each and every person. Like one person is now in a dormitory or hostel, so he or she will be counted there. This method is known as de facto method. Number two is de jure method. In this process, each and every person will be counted as per his or her residence or permanent residence or legal residence. So, if any person lives in a hostel or in a dormitory, he or she will not be counted in the dormitory, he or she will be counted in his actual legal residence. This method is de jure method and another method is usual residence method. In this method, people are counted at his usual residence, not legal residence. Usually one person like lives in a hostel or dormitory, not his legal residence. So, he or she will be counted in the dormitory. This method is usual residence method. So, this these are the types of census and now let us discuss about the Bangladesh census. We have conducted um, census in Bangladesh this year nine, uh, 2022. Bangladesh first census was uh, held in 1972 because of liberation war we could not collect in 1971. We collected in 72, then in 81, then in 91, then in 2001, then 2011 and then instead of 2021 due to global pandemic or COVID-19 pandemic we collected in 2022. So, in Bangladesh census, we usually collect some types of information or data. These are demographic and social characteristics like age, sex, relationship to the head of the household, marital status, religion, mother tongue or mother language and nationality. These are the demographic and social characteristics. Then we collect about educational characteristics like literacy status, school attendance, 
level of education completed and field of education like general field or technical field or religious field we collect this type of data and we also collect geographical or migration characteristics sometimes we collect about the uh, geographical location like usual residence district of birth duration of continuous residence in a district district of previous residence reason of migration this information sometimes are collected and we collect also economic data like type of activity or occupation type of level of occupation like high rank job or middle rank or low level job like this and employment status or if unemployed reason of unemployment including this we collect some uh, extra information of household like the furniture status the use of electricity what are what is the source of drinking water how is the washroom is it sanitary or not these information are also collected in a census in this picture we see this is a census data form of 1991 and this form was used to collect data from each household and this picture is showing the 2011 data collection form in 2022 we have collected data on a tablet computer in a specific a specified app special app for data collection and it was uh, known as the first digital Bangladesh census now we can see the population growth of Bangladesh in 2011 census we see this a uh, picture of a uh, bar diagram showing population of Bangladesh from 1901 to 2011. We see almost linear rising population here and this is a bar diagram showing population by sex and age ratio from 1991 to 2011. The ratio in 91 female were 51.5% and male were 54.7%. So female were less than male in 2001. Female were 60% and male were 64%. In 2011, male female ratio was almost same. So uh, this is a picture and interestingly in our 2022 census we found that female population is slightly larger than the male population. This is this important transition of our demographic picture in case of male female ratio. And this is a map diagram showing the population density proportion in, in whole Bangladesh. We see in and around Dhaka this density is highest and lowest density is in hilly regions of Rangamati, Khagrachori and Bandarban. And this is a picture showing the information collected in Bangladesh census 2022. It is, a, it is from a preliminary report published in 27th of July 2022. In this uh, preliminary report, we see total population of Bangladesh was 16 crore 51 lakh 58,616. Male were, uh, male population was slightly smaller than the female population and male female ratio was 0.98 that is against 100 female there were 98 male persons and population growth rate was 1.22%. Literacy rate was 76.66% in 2022 whereas we found in 2011 it was 51.77%. So it is a great finding for us and 
uh, rural and urban population uh, differences and counting is also uh, present here and internet users is showing that it is 30.68 percent mobile phone users are 55.89 percent so this is an important finding of our bangladesh census 2022 and another finding is from 1981 to 2022 population growth rate is is changing we see in 1981 growth rate was 2.88 percent in 1991 it was 2.01 percent in 2001 it was 1.58 percent in 2011 it was 1.47 percent and in 2022 it is 1.22 percent so we see it is decreasing day by day so this is all about my census lecture thank you assalamu alaikum